Motion VFX's movement pack has quickly become one of my go-to packs. Let me put you on. Just like their previous packs, it's an easy drag and drop with over 50 customizable presets. You can quickly take a shot from this to this. Easily bringing a lot more energy to those stagnant and stale shots. The pack is broken up into six categories. You have your basic, cinematic, custom, lens distortion, miscellaneous, and simulations. Hands down, one of my favorites is the one I just showed in an example. It's the multi-flash. To use the effects, I recommend you use an adjustment clip and then drop the effects on the clip. Let me show you. Simply go up to the effects panel, effects, and you should see adjustment clip. I've hit the star here to save it to my favorites. So if we go down to favorites, you'll find everything there. So I'll grab an adjustment clip and place it over the clip. I'm gonna make the adjustment clip the same length. I go back to my favorites where I have the multi-flash and just drag and drop. With a little tweaking and adjustment, you can adjust the camera angles as well. Underneath your display viewer, you'll have this little drop down. By default, it's set to transform, or actually by default, it's off. So you turn it on, hit the drop down, go to Fusion Overlay. Within the Fusion Overlay, it's kind of hard to see with this particular clip. I'm gonna move Playhead to a darker place. And you see these little dots here. You can grab these and move them around. And these basically are the camera angles or the points in which the camera is gonna zoom in. In the Inspector tab, you can customize this by moving around the movement target. The zoom scale just tells you how far you want the zoom to go in. No need to set any kind of keyframes or anything else. And if you don't want the flash, you can cut it off right here. But for me, it's the flash that really sells the effect. Another favorite of mine is the tremble effect. Favorites, I'm gonna drag and drop on the adjustment clip. This one here, I'm gonna leave in the middle of the clip. So it'll start off normal. Then once you get into the clip, you start getting the tremble. This effect creates like a camera shape slash directional blur effect that looks really good. With this, you have animation in and out control, shape controls, and the directional blur. You can adjust the zoom scale, the shake, and also the blur as well. You can crank up the strength if you want even more, which that may be a little bit too intense. <laughs> this last one here is not really relying too much on keyframes, so you can just drag and drop onto the clip. And that's this dizzy effect. You can drag and drop to the clip, and this basically creates like this drunken effect. You see how the camera kind of wobbles back and forth. If you ever played Grand Theft Auto, it's kind of the same similar effect to when you get drunk in Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> you also have this camera rig effect. You drag and drop it to the clip, by default, the camera rig effect doesn't do much. If you go to the Inspector tab, you can turn up things like the zoom, the X offset, and the Y offset. You can create an X rotation or a Y rotation. There's no need for any keyframe. It has an animation in and out effect to it. The effect is directly placed on the clip, and the little adjustments I made, it begins to do automatically. Using this, you can create your own like, kind of like 3D camera effect as well. It's in and out bar at the top. That basically tells the animation when to start and when to end. And so I turn this up, you'll see the camera motion starting to go back to the default state. Therefore, the beginning of your clip is normal. Then as it ease in, the effects or whatever dials you change will go into effect and then ease on out. Now, of course, there are a lot more presets within this pack. I ain't, I'm not gonna go over all of them. Like I said, there's 50 presets in all. At the time of this recording, Motion VFX is actually having a 30% off sale. Just use code HUGE30 at checkout for 30% off. If you have any questions about this preset pack or any of the others from Motion VFX, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. But I pretty much have most of the preset packs, so I can let you know it's worth your time, more importantly, worth your money. For more information, click the link in the description or check out this Motion VFX playlist.